Hey guys, thanks for clicking again. This is the latest episode of Firm Favourites. So if you remember, the end of the last episode finished on a rage quit. Now it wasn't quite conclusive, I think there's only one or two comments that says we should spin the wheel again for a rage quit. But I think for the time being, we'll leave it alone just now. I think if we win by three, after every game the wheel gets spin. I think spinning it three times, it might mean we go through the wheel a little too quickly. But I'll leave it in the hands of you guys if you strongly think that if we get a rage quit, if we beat a person into submission, we should get to spin the wheel an extra time. So comment down below, let me know for sure what you guys think we should do. So before we can play any games, we know what we need to do first then. We've got to spin this wheel twice. Let's get it done. Okay then, so the first of two spins gives us... Another two Celtic players. Let's have a look see who they are. There you have it, George Samaras and Craig Gordon, that is another good goalkeeper, he'll be battling out with Alan McGregor for the goalkeeping spot. Samaras is a decent one though. Okay, I'll take these guys off, we've got one more spin to go. Okay then, spin number two, we really need some Rangers players here, let's see what we get. There's more Celtic players, let's have a look. Okay, so two good additions with Sean Maloney, Emilio Ezeguiri. So that isn't bad at all, but we really need some Rangers players. I'll get these Celtic players, but we'll get them in the team. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got those four players. Craig Gordon, he goes in goals instead of Alan McGregor. Emilio Ezeguiri, we really were in desperate need of a left back, so that was good news actually. Naylor drops to the bench. Sean Maloney steps in. He takes the place of, I think in that position last game it was Joe Ledley, but it will probably be Chris Commons because he has the chemistry with Brown. We'll see how he plays. Samaras goes up top. Lee Griffiths comes back in. He's been playing really well for the club. Let's just keep going for these wins. Let's, let's face it, that's all we need. We just need to keep winning. We have been playing some really good teams, but I think we can do it. Let's see who we're going to play first. Okay, so it's an 81 rated team. Whoa, all Brazilian. Okay, that is a strong central defence. Oh my goodness me. Well, there's nothing we can really do. We just need to play. We've came up against good teams in the past, so let's just keep our wits about us. Oh no, the two centre backs have a bit of a night. Great goalkeeping by Gordon. Keeps us in it there, that is tremendous. Well played, Craig Gordon. Great first touch, Griffiths. Oh, Samaras, how can you miss that? Oh my god, are you serious? What a goal, Samaras, what a goal, mate. Held them off, turned round, bang. Brilliant goal. Starting off well again, we seem to start off well in these games. Took my time, let him dive in, turned round. That's a harder finish than his first attempt. Come on, Sammy. Oh, I thought that was going in. That was so unlucky. What a free kick, Van Dyke. What a strike! James Forrest, what a strike that is! Oh my god! What a finish! Let's see that again. What a strike that is, that is unbelievable. Brilliant finish, keeper's quite far out. That's his problem. Three nil, this is an annihilation so far. 20 minutes in, we're winning three nil already. This is looking good. This team is clicking. Look at this by Griffiths. Cool customer. What more can you say? He moved his wall. I don't know why he done it. He left loads of space. I don't know why he done it. As soon as I was lining up, his wall moved. I thought, yeah, I'm going to hit that. Especially with Van Dijk coming so close with his first free kick. 4-0 before half time. We could be getting another two spins here. Look, he moves his wall all the way to the left. Leaves loads of space. Easy as that. Okay, well, we're looking good so far. 4-0 if I throw this away. 
it will be an absolute travesty. As you can see, he's had two shots, one on target. We've only had seven, six shots, but four goals for that is quite impressive. Possession, 61%. That is good. What a goal! Come on! In fact, we need to stand up and applaud that. Come on. Well played, Samaras. Well played, mate. Oh, Thiago Silva and David Luiz don't know what's hitting them here. Look at this. Diving in. Samaras taking it. Cool as you like. Bottom corner. He's gave a penalty for that. Oh my god, that is weak. Can't agree with this. Look. It just kind of clips him. I don't think I would have gave a penalty for that. Oof. That is why he shouldn't hit it. Jeez, oh. Yep, we have a disconnect. So, another rage quit. That is the third in a row, I think. Right, so, no surprise. Samaras gets man of the match, even though he missed that penalty, which was a bit of a bummer. But, kind of good ratings all round. Now, I've realised something. I've made a mistake, and I'm only going to spin the wheel once after this match, even though we won by three. But, I've realised I only have one Rangers player in the squad. I only have David Templeton, the rest are all Celtic or ex-Celtic players. I'm going to punish myself by only spinning once, although we won by three goals. I didn't realise it until I was halfway through the first half, so I thought I'd bring it up now. Um, so you don't have to comment below, I know that I've messed up. Uh, so we're only going to get one spin. Here we have promotion, that gets us promotion. We need two points for the remaining three games to get the title though. So, we're going to be adding some players to the club just now. Remember, just one spin, punishing myself, one spin, let's do it now. Okay, I'm going to start with the wheel down the bottom this time, let's see what we get. We really need some Rangers players, we really, really do. Well, just as I say it, let's have a look and see who this man is, it's a gold Rangers player. Let's see who this is. He goes in the Rangers section, we have a Rangers player, he's gold, and he's the ex-Rangers player, Mikel Arteta. That's not too bad then. I'll go and get him, put him in the team, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I told you in the last episode of the previous one that there was limited gold cards for the Rangers players. Now, Arteta, since he's went, we've won him. There was no more gold cards to go on the board, we only had informs and legends. Now, like I said, we cannot put the informs on the board until we get the original cards. Now, the informs are Kel Lafferty, McCormick, so they can't go on because we don't own them yet. So we have a first legend on the board, which is quite exciting. I wouldn't give away who it is yet, I don't want to say, but he's on the board anyway. There only is the option of two for the Rangers side, so I'm not going to say any more about it. Let's talk about the team. I'm from Mikel Arteta. <laughs> Mikel Arteta? Wrong Mikel Arteta and he's going to play in midfield alongside Joe Ledley. Um, so we do have our three Rangers players because of run back in McGregor. Um, so we have McGregor, we have Arteta, we have Templeton. That's the three compulsory Rangers players we have to have. The rest of the team I'm not going to change as we played really well. Don't want to mess about with it too much. I have took I have took Maloney out though and put in Joe Ledley again. It's only to increase the chemistry a little with Arteta and Samara. So Maloney drops to the bench, Joe Ledley comes in. Other than that, Pretty much a solid team. Chemistry does take a little bit of a hit, but what can you do? Let's play game two. Okay, so it's another 81 rated team. Oh my god. Okay, right. He's got a man of the match card. Has in form Rafinha. Oh, Jings, that is quite a good team. Rodrigo, Pedro, Santos, PK. Okay, we'll have a workout this time. I'll do. Come on, 1 0 already. Another quick goal. Joe Ledley, just as well, I brought him back in. He scores. Not a bit of a sweaty goal, but when you've got a team like this, you need to take every opportunity you get. I mean, this guy has a cracking Spanish team. What a finish! Absolute brilliant! Was that, who was that? Forrest, what a finish mate, well played, kept his composure, couple of step overs, wrong foots to keep up, underneath him, that is brilliant. 
You know, he may have got the ball there actually. Now Sam and Ash will not be hitting this penalty after that fiasco the last time. There you go. Pete Griffiths, 4 0 at half time again. Could we be having another quit on our hands? Another rage quit. This is what the fourth in a row now. Not much else you can say is that it was another convincing win. Samaras gets the best match rating, although he didn't actually score any goals. Not much else to cover here apart from this news. We get the title. Here it is. Two games remaining. We win the Division 9 title. I'm a happy bunny. Okay then, so let's get the wheel spun twice. Let's do it. Alright, come on, let's get some more good players. It is Rangers players. It's all bronze. Let's have a look. There you have it. It's Law, McCulloch and Simonson. Not ideal, let's face it, but we have to try and get them a debut. This is going to be ugly. One more spin to go. Okay, spin number two, here goes. I think that's just in the Rangers section. It's two silver Rangers players. Let's have a look. Okay, Wallace and Whitaker. They aren't too bad, I suppose. A right back and a left back. I'll go, I'll get the five Rangers players, but we'll put a team together. Let's have a look. Okay, well, this team, not looking good, considering we've just got promoted into Division 8, this is not the kind of team I wanted to go up with, but we have Simonson in goals, McCulloch at centre-back, the right-back and left-back, both Whitaker and Wallace, respectively, are getting their debuts as well, so is Nicky Law. That is all five of the players we just won are going to get their debut. This is not the strength of squad I wanted. In fact, Arteta's going to come out, yeah, I'm going to put Brown in. It just increases the chemistry a little. Uh, Brown's been playing quite well. Samaras and Griffiths are staying up front. They've been playing tremendously well together. So it gives our team rating a 70. Chemistry's up to 93. That's probably the highest we've had it almost. So let's play the last game of the episode. He has a team rating of 82. Toffees. It's a Serie A team. Quite a pacey Serie A team. Ugh. Coming up against some top quality opposition now. The players I have, I don't know if they're going to be able to cut it. They've done really well the last couple of games though. I can't see us getting a rage quit here this time, I must admit. Samaras, what a goal, mate! Oh my god, what a goal that is! That is delightful! The big man is pulling it out the bag again. That is well played. Oh, I don't know how much I've put on this video, but what a run that was. What a run. Buffon left stranded. Ripped apart that defence. Look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, Sammy. I cannot believe the run we're on now. I cannot believe it. This is outrageous. Who is that? Is that Griffiths? Oh my god. Okay, well, 2-0 at half time. Not as impressive in the last as in the last two games, but still. I never thought we'd be winning this game. He's got a really classy Serie A team. Off to a great start. Possession, he's winning possession, but we're definitely bossing it on shots. Dead McCulloch. No, no, McCulloch, you messed up there. No. No. Keeper! What a save! That is outrageous! What a save! How did that not go in? Yes! Three wins in the trot in this episode. I don't even think... Have we done that yet? I'm not 100% sure. This could be the first time. With a pretty weak team, it has to be said. We got a lot of bronzes and silvers there. We had to play them. We did. We played with them well. There's no doubt in it. Simonson gets man of the match. Now, I'm not going to argue he made a couple of really good saves that I did not expect him to make. But in saying that, I thought Samaras might have just sneaked man of the match. He got a goal. But you know what? 
I'm not going to complain at all. Simonson had a really good game. Although he had a good game, I don't think he's going to be a regular, let's face it. We have the likes of Craig Gordon. We have Alan McGregor. So he's probably going to need to play, not even second thing, he's going to, need to play third, let's face it. Gives us three points on the board for the first game in Division 8. Now that is good news. Okay then guys, that is it for another episode of Fun Favourites. I hope you're enjoying the series. Comment down below, I'd love to hear what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Let me know your favourite Celtic players, Rangers players. Have they already came out yet? Have they still to come out? Are they even in the game? Let me know. And please guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. It only takes a second. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.